Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today I'm going to show you all how to use your Bitmoji classrooms in either Google Meet or Zoom. I know with virtual um, teaching, a lot of us have to have these live instruction methods uh, through Google Meet or Zoom or whatever platform is going to be used at your school. So I wanted to show you how you can still use these fun rooms where students are able to see the classroom environment while they are in Google Meet. Um, so what you would do is first go ahead and open your Google Meet session, start a new meeting, and I have my little sticker over my camera so you're not going to be able to see me, but um, it would start my camera. And in both Google Meet and Zoom, you have the ability to share your screen or present. Um, so here on um, Google Meet, you have the option to present now in Zoom. It tells you to share your screen. So this is where you're going to go. Present now and share your entire screen or just your um, browser, whichever one you're more comfortable with. So I'm going to share my screen. And then the, my students are going to see everything that is being shown on my desktop. What I also like to do is split the screen so that I can see what's going on with my students as I am navigating through my um, Bitmoji classroom. Okay, so I can go ahead and split the screen. If you have a Mac, it will split it in half um, for you. And so I would be able to keep track of what's going on here and see if the students are responding in any way and um, answer their questions or stop depending on what's going on with my class. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up so you guys can see more what's happening with this morning meeting. I believe everybody should be doing a morning meeting regardless of what grade you are. It's really important to just have that moment in the morning to ensure that your students are doing well. You have these norms and routines that you're doing and going over. Um, so making a morning meeting room for the first Zoom session or Google Meet session is really, really um, beneficial. So here in my morning meeting room, I'll go through really quick. I have these different links that will help um, get through our routine. So first we start with attendance and it's going to open up with a Google Sheet that I have made that just has my roster here, the date, and um, the attendance. And this is frozen so that if I just want to display one day at a time, I can without exposing all of the information for all of the students to my classroom. And so keep in mind that the students are going to be able to see whatever it is that you are um, displaying on your computer screen. So make sure that there's only content that you want them to see on whatever um, screen it is that you're working in. Okay, so that's our daily attendance. We'll go through a roll call, have our students practicing here. I start teach kindergarten, so this is really important that they learn and recognize their name right away. From there, I wanna do a wellness check-in. During this time, it's really important to have these wellness checks um, where students are able to talk about their feelings and um, have interventions and whatnot. If any of these feelings are, um, you know, call for any extra attention. So. You can figure out a way to um, have your students express and share how they're feeling, um, however works for you. So that's my next check-in. Then for, um, for kindergarten, we always do calendar. They learn the days of the week, months of the year, weather, counting the days um, that they've been in school thus far, and just focus on all of these different elements. So uh, it's taking a little while to load here, but we would go and do calendar together. All of these parts are movable and I can go ahead and work within this document just like I would do in class during our in-person morning meeting. And then if we do go back to hybrid or um, fully in-person modes, I can continue this exact thing in, in class, okay? So my calendar would be my next, um, next thing that we work on and the last, oh, two more things. Numbers. Um, students in kindergarten are obviously learning their numbers and how to count. 
and skip count and whatnot. So this is a really good um, resource for us to use. Depending on your grade level, you can obviously make adjustments to whatever it is that you do every morning for your sp um, particular grade and what works for your classroom. But for kindergarten, I found this interactive 100 charts on ABC Yeah that will allow us to basically set different goals um, depending on what numbers we're working with. So if I just go ahead and click on here, I can say today we are counting to 10 and highlight the number 10 so they know where we're going to. I can also say, you know what, we're practicing skip counting. Um, so we're going to go skip count all of these numbers to 50 or to 100. Or I can even increase my chart to 120. Okay, so whatever your goal is, you can adjust um, depending on whatever it is that you need. So that would be our next um, task to do. And the last one is our connection circle. So this is something that I typically do in class. We all go to the carpet time, sit in a circle, and we talk about different things that help us get to know each other and become comfortable with each other. So our connection circles um, basically start off the beginning of the year with very basic um, questions like what is your favorite color? What's your pet's name? Do you want a pet? And then as the time goes on and people are more comfortable you start to ask more question questions that get a little deeper like how do you feel when you wake up in the morning you can discuss why if you feel comfortable but these are just different um things that i love to do inside of the classroom that makes our class community just that much closer that i definitely wanted to make sure to incorporate throughout a virtual morning meeting. So this is how I would go about using my morning meeting classroom inside of Zoom. When I'm done with these different activities, I want my students to go over their daily activities for Seesaw. So I have this link over here on the right that will open up their Seesaw journal. And from their Seesaw journal, I can go over with them what is expected for, for the day with their daily activities. From here, I can show them that today, this is the journal that they're working on and go over all of the different journal pages that they'll go through really quickly um, so that they know what is expected of them throughout the day after our meeting is done. So that is how I am choosing to use Google Meet and Zoom using my Bitmoji classrooms. There's so many more things you can do. You can definitely just open up one of these classrooms and go through them together, walk through the different um, resources that you have available within your classrooms. And here I can be um, you know, on a live session and just go through talking about kindness, watching a video together, reading the book together, whatever it might be that you want to discuss in person that you feel like there's key points that you want to talk about within your Bitmoji classroom um, during these live sessions and then allowing your students to go and explore through Seesaw or through Google Classroom um, after. So as always, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners. And please also, I love when you guys put comments with suggestions on what you want to hear and learn about next. I'm so open to different ideas and we're all learning together. So whatever you need, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to help you. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to delivering the next one. Thank you.